Welcome NFL viewers to Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium, built on money from a loan that can't possibly be paid back. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The New York Tyrants go up against the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Fricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Hoppa! Uh-huh, it's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. First and ten. <laughs> Second down and a lot. Oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone, but they've always worked for me. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is good. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and two. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. I'm a hell of an old fellow. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And he's running like a moose right now. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. They run it for a yard. Third and four. He 
is rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Third down, and, well, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back and he got it off that's a decent punt and he snags the punt and looks for open field i had a dog named snags he got hit by a car my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. set up the offense looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life he is but he's got no choice I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten.
Second down and long. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and the punter is warming up. Welcome to McRoy Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double Roy burger, large Roy fries, and a big Roy go. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm just gonna rip your head off. And Touchdown! I think I show my car. before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and long. They call it a warp speed dirty trick. He's so fast he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Threads the needle for a first down. First down and three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with that ball. I take all you new talent. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. I think I saw my car. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's 
first and ten. This is your brain. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's at the ten, and he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, he had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And so, that's the two-minute warning. Third down and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts a shot there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Gordon, the Aunt Smiler. Did the shot treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and Xander, Again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. Goal man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Brick. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move here. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> That pass play was good for three yards. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pitchkin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! And it's good! It, run it back and don't die. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? 
And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. The boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Hey. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and five. Hot. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. They're going for a fake punt. That's riskier than sticking your hand in a blender and flipping a rim. He had it for a second there. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and six. on that play.
second down the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And that'll bring up third down and seven. than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. And the defense won that one handily. The offense fails on four. And these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. And they'll line up for the... It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Uh oh Crowd's loving it. Yeah. And it's first and ten. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and that'll be second down and four third down and six he was 
is not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. First down and three. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're gonna lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this dense, Grim. <laughs> Second down, and he often says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. They're going for two here. showing but their team has a chance to respond and it's first and ten and the defense calls a strawberry fields dirty trick now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth bricks <laughs> Good times. Married a little Swedish midget, lived in a sweat lodge for about a year. Now, at least the, I think that's what I did. Second down and more than the QB would like. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Uh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second and three. Kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MLB. And he's off to the races. He's in the 20. The 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. 
straight through the uprights. I think I showed my cards as a man. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, Good communication is important. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. They've called a zap attack. The ball, and he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. The 20. He's at the 10. He scores! You want dirt and some butternut time. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. with the Brain Scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Two minutes left in the game and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. And it's first and ten. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten.
Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and 10. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Third down and 10. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like... And the D takes their second time out hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outfit. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. One in for the first down. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a ten-yard gain. Second down in inches. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Baby, no, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Gwen. It just ain't right. It's the Eagles declaring victory today. Well, it looks like I'm declaring bankruptcy. I've been on the wrong team again. And let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Yeah, right. Go home, you fast cars, million dollar mansions, endorsement deals, and your beautiful trophy wives, you losers. At least they're not attached to a loser like me. All right, losers, let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. No, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.